Hello, good morning. Wednesday, November 9th, 2022. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Look at this sunny, amazing day we got. The birds are absolutely losing their minds. We're running a little late, so we're gonna cut this a little short, but just wanted to say hey. Hi, how are you? And uh, show you the beautiful morning we got here in central Indiana. There you go, there's a little cinematic with the sun over my shoulder. All right, we're gonna go start the school drop-off process, have ourselves a day, gonna have a meeting this morning, and uh, that's it. The rest of the day, just enjoy the nice weather, do some work, obviously, and some stuff around the house as the fall leaves are a fallen. They actually mowed our grass yesterday, which we were not really expecting, but it looks good, doesn't it? Maybe that was the last mow of the season, probably. Right in there, it gets really, really kind of growing a lot, and uh it looks good so i think we're ready for fall actually we're past fall now right it's almost middle of november anyway all right let's go have ourselves a wednesday here you go little noodles and company for lunch got the mac and cheese with some chicken soda chicken cheese macaroni gonna be fantastic oh here you go little La Hacienda, chips and queso, and chicken soft tacos. How good do those look? Taco Wednesday, baby! Is that a thing? Hey look, the new season of The Crown's out. There's Diana, and Charles, who else, William, and little Harry. Oh look, there's the paparazzi. Uh oh. Okay, we are three, two episodes fully through the crown. We're on episode three called Moo Moo. Um, we really like the show. Heidi really likes the show because she really likes the whole royals and all that stuff. Um, it's a little sad because this is the first season that the queen has officially died in real life. She's not dead in the show. We're at like that 1991 time frame. This are no spoilers. You know what's coming if you're watching the show, but this is when the whole issues with Princess Di and Prince, no, Prince Charles? Is he a prince? King Charles? Prince Charles? This is about the time where they're having major issues. And um, this is, it's so good. It's such a good show. But the queen is played by... Um, Somebody that was in Harry Potter, she was the person that came in in one of the movies with all pink, with the cats. The Laura Sumbridge. The Laura Sumbridge. And she went, oh, W-O-S-O's. And she was a bad person on it. So it's, it's weird. Hermelda Snotten is her name. Hermelda Snotten. <laughs> something, look it up. Uh, anyway, it's weird. She's really good in this. But there's times where she says something and you're like, oh my gosh. It's the lady from Harry Potter. So it's just one of those kind of weird, interesting, kind of cool things. Um, so anyway, watch The Crown. If you haven't seen the other uh, seasons, there's, this is the fifth season. There's sixth total. So uh, they're going to wrap it up here. Oh, with the next season. I'm tired for some reason. Oh, you know why I'm tired? I may have had some stomach issues in the middle of the night. Uh, didn't have to call any dinosaurs or anything. So we were fine. But may have had to sit there with a the Sprite. And uh, convince myself not to get sick. I don't even know what I ate yesterday. Nothing good. What did we have yesterday? Did I have White Castle yesterday? No. Oh, I had Subway. Oh. We had spaghetti and so uh, spaghetti for dinner and Subway for lunch. It did not sit well. Anyway, we're gonna keep watching this. We're on episode three. Uh, a little bit after nine o'clock. It's so nice outside, and it breaks my heart because it's going away. Um, because cold weather's coming, so all right, we're gonna go keep watching the show and uh, try not to get any crossover from The Crown and Harry Potter. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? So, little Philip got glasses before the school year, he does really good with them, keeps them on. Doesn't really damage them. Really damage them. But this is the second time this has happened. 
He's gotten in the car with his glasses off and says, uh oh. Do you see that? We're missing a piece. So, for some reason, these glasses that we have, they're Ray Ban. You'd think that'd be a good brand. They said they were strong and durable for kids. They're not broken. There's a screw that goes right in there that connects to the glasses and it just like falls off. He says he's he's done it at recess twice. So on one hand, he's a 10 year old boy and he's not like breaking the glasses. They're just, for some reason, a screw's popping out. I don't know how or why, but uh, that's not good. So we're gonna get those fixed in the morning. I think I'm gonna have a lunch time either quick bite or video or something in the middle of the day and uh that's it for us on a thursday you got anything well no nothing for heidi two more days uh tomorrow it starts to chill off a little bit and then friday takes an absolute nose dive so um heidi's right there see look turn around turn around turn around turn around she's right there Anyway, all right. Well, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Uh, sorry this week has not been the most exciting, but we've been doing a lot of work. Been cleaning the house a little bit and uh, just getting the kids to school. Um, we are th three and a half episodes into The Crown. Uh, if you have watched it, I would like to talk to you because I don't know about the last episode. I hate shows that like have all this buildup and there's so much going on and then they totally take a sharp right for an entire episode and you're like, what? Uh, we could have skipped that whole episode. It would have been done in like five minutes. That's the, that's the only historical significance that we needed to know. But you learn about some people that I didn't know about, so that was interesting. And um, how much of it's really true. And how much of it's really true. We already found one or two things off the Wikipedia that was not correct on the show. So that's annoying. Um, but yeah, that's it. So, uh, okay. Also, there's a debate on one of the sports shows. Uh, before we go, let's have a quick talk about Law and Order. Have you watched Law and Order? And if you have, which one is your favorite? How do you like the SVU? Why do you like SVU? Uh, Special Victims Unit. It's got my boy Ice T on it. I don't know. It's just the stories are good. Simple. It's and, the best story. Uh, the actors are good. Good actors, good stories. I've never, I uh, have only seen a handful of Law and Orders, and they've all been with Miss Heidi. So um, there's all kinds of them, like Law and Order Criminal Unit or criminal Law and Order, Law and Order, Organized Crime, Organized Crime, Organized Law and Order Canada. So all kinds of fun stuff. But anyway, comment below if you watch Law and Order. Let me know which one's your favorite. Uh, the the, the, t the uh, sports show I was watching, they were talking about. Some guys just turn it on and that's their background all day and some don't even watch it at all. So it's really interesting which side you fall on. Um, tomorrow's Thursday, we got Thursday Night Football. I don't even know who's playing. Do you have any idea who's playing? Uh, I'm guessing it's two crappy teams. Panthers and Cardinals. Panthers and Cardinals. Panthers and Colts. Anyway, all right. Colts Thanks. Panthers, that, yeah. That would be the, that's what you just said. That would be the best game ever. <laughs> oh, our Colts. Oh, that's so frustrating. Although the Broncos Colts was pretty the Broncos good. Broncos awful. Oh, did you hear, uh, before we go, here's our last sports talk of the day. Uh, did you know that the Seahawks are now saying that they're more successful because their quarterback has their plays on a wristband and they can call the plays in and the quarterback gets them quicker and goes? Well, Russell Wilson Jr. the third did not wear a wristband, so he... <laughs> Did, Manning didn't wear a well, that was back in the day when they did. Tom Brady wore one. Peyton Manning did not. Tom Brady won like nine Super Bowls. Yeah, but he had never wristband to do it. Diminished. All right. Thanks for being. He also had a cheat to do it. So. Comment below. Do you think Peyton Manning or Tom Brady's better? And he also had to put football above his family. What? All right. <laughs> We're taking shots at Giselle, and I will not tolerate it. You're taking shots at TB12, and I won't take it. He's sacrificed and eaten avocado ice cream for years. Heck of American. All right. Uh, we blabbered on too long. Thanks for being here. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Um, tomorrow is Thursday, as I mentioned. Meeting in the middle of the day. 
and nothing else really. So we're going to keep monitoring the weather. We got weather gate here. I know all of our friends down in Florida are getting hammered by rain. So if you're there, be careful. Uh, I think the airport actually closed this afternoon. Um, and I don't think Disney's closed. I haven't seen anything. So um, we'll check that out. All right. Talk to you later. See you. Bye.